If this is the first time you are visiting our channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. While the growth of wind, solar and other renewables is vital for the global energy transition, these clean energy sources suffer from intermittency, a lack of wind or sunshine that can leave a hole in electricity supplies. For this reason, a baseload fuel is needed to generate power on demand to compensate when output from renewable sources is low or to boost supply during periods of peak electricity demand. That's where fuels like low or no carbon hydrogen come in. Clean hydrogen could help decarbonize hard to electrify heavy transport sectors like shipping, railways, and buses. The positive signs of progress in this field. Recently the first fleet of trains powered by hydrogen fuel cells began operating in Germany. More than 100 pilot and demonstration projects are underway using hydrogen or its derivatives to fuel shipping. Strong interest is being shown for these fuels, with several strategic partnerships in place within a shipping sector keen to curb its emissions in the face of ever stricter regulatory restrictions imposed on fleet owners and operators by the International Maritime Organization. Some heavy industries are also eager to embrace the decarbonizing potential of hydrogen. A year after the first experimental projects produced clean green steel using renewable energy, a flurry of new steel projects have been announced that will use emissions-free hydrogen in the direct reduction of iron. As part of the net zero emissions scenario 2021-2050, Hydrogen and hydrogen-based fuels could avoid up to 60 gigatons of carbon dioxide emissions by mid-century, equivalent to 6% of total cumulative emissions reductions, according to the International Energy Agency. The vast bulk of hydrogen in use today is generated using fossil fuels, which emits carbon dioxide into the atmosphere and contributes to the climate crisis. In 2021, Natural gas accounted for around 60% of total hydrogen production, with coal accounting for about 20%. Demand for hydrogen reached 94 million tons in 2021, containing energy equivalent to about 2.5% of global final energy consumption. The production of low emissions hydrogen accounted for less than 1 million tons. If you want us to make this kind of video, make sure you comment below and do not forget to subscribe. If all current projects are brought online, by 2030 low-carbon hydrogen capacity could reach 16 to 24 million tons annually, with green hydrogen from electrolyzers accounting for 9 to 14 million tons and blue hydrogen accounting for between 7 to 10 million tons. In 2022, year-on-year -year annual electrolyzer capacity doubled to reach 8 gigawatts, helping combat climate change. If all the new projects announced by industry are brought to life, this could reach 60 gigawatts annually by 2030. If this happens alongside the planned scale-up in manufacturing capacities, the cost of electrolyzers could fall by 70% by 2030, compared to 2022 prices. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification.